we go where we hadn't gone very often, and that's to a shrimp dish in Christopher's Kitchen. Welcome back with Christopher Lampo. I'm Mike Wright, and it is Shrimp Madagascar that's on the grill today. Unusual name. You might have heard it somewhere. It's probably a, a late 70s dish, really, but I love it because we used to cook it table side at, at restaurants and chef school. We might start doing it here, too. But it's shrimp and green peppercorns and cream. I'm going to serve it with a little pasta today. All right, Real great. simple shrimp dish. A lot of people always ask me that. So people love shrimp. They don't really know what to do with it. So. I've got some gulf shrimp here that have been peeled and deveined. Uh, these are green peppercorns, okay? They usually come in a little can like this and they're stored in brine, okay? So they're very soft. You can smush them and they're very good. They have a really intense, intense flavor. First, I'm gonna get some shallots going here. We wanna fine mince on these shallots so they cook really quickly. A very unique thing about this dish today also is uh, a liqueur called Pernod. It is an anise flavored or licorice flavored liqueur that really makes this dish unique. Today for this, I just want the green parts of these scallions. Now normally I would use chives if I had chives, but I'm just gonna cut these up a little bit and substitute these for chives today. Chives are probably better in this dish. Gonna flavor that butter with a little bit of shallot. Get those cooking. Go and lay in our shrimp here. Get those cooking. We just want those to turn nice and bright pink. bunch of shrimp today. Okay, and we want to add our green peppercorns at this point also. And I'm just trying to smash them just a little bit with my fingers, just a little bit so they break open. Okay, got some nice shrimp with green peppercorns going there. Okay, we're going to add a little salt and pepper to our shrimp too. Now remember those uh, green peppercorns do have, they are, they are brined, which means they are uh, kept in salt water, so be careful of your salt in this dish. Just going to turn these over. Oh, beautiful pink color, that's what you're looking for. And then I'm going to uh, flame this with just a little bit of Pernod. Just going to put a touch of cream in that. Okay. Beautiful. Also going to put a touch of sour cream in here. Just stir that in, and you don't want to boil sour cream because it'll break. So we just want that to melt in there. That's the last thing we add. Good consistency. Okay, and then we're going to finish that with some green onions. Just like that. Okay, and that's ready. We're going to serve that with a little angel hair pasta today. Now for the shrimp Madagascar, I just have a little angel hair pasta. And I'll be honest with you, Mike, this is not that warm. Just gonna twirl it a little bit there. Works better with a fork, probably. Just gonna put that in the center. See that? Isn't that cute? All right, now we got some of these. Um, just gonna put some of our shrimp here. Mike, you're gonna have a good time with this one, I can tell. We're just gonna put a little sauce in between there. Wipe up that plate. Mike, let's just give this a little taste. Right. Should I make you a bite or are you going to handle it yourself? Oh, sure. No, no. Go ahead. Make you a bite? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, there's some green peppercorns. You like? They're not too spicy. They're just a different flavor. All right. You can taste it with pasta the next time. Well, it's as awesome as it was watching you cook this. Does it taste good? Mm hmm. Mm. All right, just a couple of things to address here. First of all, the uh, flame on the stove, that's something you got to know what you're doing before you try that, right? Well, yes. You don't want to, uh, you, you technically should pour the liqueur in the pan away from the flame, right. then bring the pan back and then do it. Because you don't want to be bringing the bottle to the stove. Good right. point. And also the uh, the plating that we talk about, I haven't seen a good beehive like that since Limestone County days. So that, that's a, that's a <laughs> nice, my time. That's a nice twirl you got on the angel hair pasta. It is Shrimp Madagascar. You can pick up this incredible recipe that's online. All you do is go to featured links at kbtx.com. Actually, Christopher's Kitchen now has their own page. That's where all of the recipes are. And we thank you for making us a part of your day for another edition of Christopher's Kitchen.